and now we will uh, see how to create a table so you can do that by ssms so in training database you can see tables and then in tables you can right click on the tables and then say new table so we have uh, we have this example right this uh, spreadsheet we were trying to create all this data in a spreadsheet so we will try to create the same structure in a database so this is, this was our table and then the table name is customers and those are the columns okay so we'll try to do the same thing here so a new query window will be opened where you can provide the column name so what are the column names customer first name last name email and customer id so let's say customer id and then what is the data type you want to provide customer id is all integers okay so you can just say and then you can do integer and then allow nulls nulls means we were talking null is nothing but if the information is known or unknown okay so if you say allow nulls that means you can have some value with null value okay so say let's say this uh, chat let's say customer id is null okay that means you are allowing null if you don't check that box that means you cannot have any null values that means all the information should be known okay so that is the property of nulls and not nulls so let's say allow nulls for now and then the second column let's say first name and then you have to provide a uh, where care where care is nothing but a variable character data type that means you are uh, saving the characters okay so what is the difference between a character and a where care so there are two uh, types of data types for storing characters character and where care character and then if you want to specify some number so character 3 means you can store three characters okay so you you can just uh, abc you can just store abc okay and then in where care 3 also if you 3 means you can store only three characters but what is the difference is if you specify character 3 three bytes will be assigned to that particular column okay so three bytes of space will be automatically assigned but what is a variable character in this column you can specify abc or you can say a or you can store b or you can store c also okay so if you store a only one byte only one byte of space will be occupied if you store b only one byte if you store a b two bytes will be occupied in in this three bytes is already occupied so even if you store a or b or c or a b three it takes all the three bytes of space okay so that's the difference between character and variable character or where char so first name i want to do it as where care 50 so 50 characters all allowed okay and then let's say allow nulls and then last name also where care and then allow nulls and then the other one was email id and then let's say that's also where care okay so now i have this column information these are other properties uh, which we will be talking about okay but then if you click on this column that's the that's the column properties if you click on this column you can see the properties being changed okay so if you see customer id that's the name and then allow nulls yes data type and some other properties for that particular column and then you can see size as 4 okay that means integer uh, data types will consume 4 bytes of data okay and then characters will consume how many uh, whatever you provide in that particular um, parenthesis that many character that many bytes will be 
consumed and then for wear care also it's the same okay so that's your uh, columns now you have your columns okay and then if you just right click on that particular tab and then save table 1 it asks for the table name enter a name for the table so you want to give it as customers and then click OK so that table has been created and then if you close that inside the tables if you click refresh and inside the tables you can see customers table has been created and then if you click on the customers table you can see the columns folder and inside these columns you can see all the columns which you have created so this is the customer ID with integer data type and the property for nulls is allowed nulls and then first name last name email ID okay so that's how you create the table using SQL Server Management Studio graphical user interface okay so how do you create it by SQL command so create table and table name and then column 1 and then data type and then nulls or not nulls property okay and then similarly column 2 and then all the properties and then parenthesis close so that's your syntax for creating a table so if you want to create this table on primary file group you can say primary file group or if you want to create on any other file group you can specify that file group name okay but then if you want to do it on just the default uh, file group you don't have to specify it okay so let's try to create the same table using the SQL command so create table and then the table name is customers and then open parenthesis and then provide your column names so the column names were customer ID and then integer allow nulls just uh, do it as null and then if you don't want to allow nulls you just say not null okay so we'll do not null row and then customer first name and then where care 50 and then let's say not null and last name 50 not null and email ID let's say where care 100 and then not null so close that and then once you have that query select that query then do execute so when you are trying to do the execute you need to make sure which database you are trying to create so if you execute this one this table will be created under master database okay so you cannot find that table under training database so you can change the context to training database so whenever you are running your queries you have to make sure which database you are working on okay because if you try to create or drop a table from different database which you have permissions then you will be into problems so you have to be very careful okay so I'm trying to create this table under training database so I've selected that query and then you can click execute or press F5 button okay so I click execute and then it says the table already exists because we just have created the customers table with the same name so you cannot have two objects with the same name so let's say customers underscore new and then all the SQL is uh, SQL Server is not case sensitive so even if you write with lower cases or upper cases it shouldn't matter okay so create table if you select that query and then click execute it says com command completed successfully and then if you refresh the tables you can see new table has been created and then you can also see the properties customer ID first name last name email ID okay so that's how you create the table using SQL if you want to change the structure of the table that means alter the table structure you can do it by right clicking here and then design and then you can add another column or you can change the data type or you can change the allow null property okay and then save it 
and then that will be saved. If you want to do it by SQL way, you have to use alter statement. Okay, we will see how to do that in tomorrow's class. So in this, uh, we we were just trying to create the table structure. We are not yet working with the data. We just trying to create a table structure with the column and then the data types.